<laughs> it wouldn't be Dusty Baker without some some, sort of some drama. <laughs> oh my gosh, at least he went forward and didn't go to greener pastures out through the barn. Golly. Oh, you got some thick hair, you know that? That stuff is thick. Big afro. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I'm not talking real loud because <laughs> there's a one ton buffalo behind me. Bison, I'm sorry. So today we are at Cross Timbers Bison, which just happens to be my brother-in-law's bison operation. And we're gonna be working these bison for their fall um giving them their wormings and shots and all that stuff so we're going to run them through a squeeze shoot now i did a i've done a couple videos with these bison once we came over and helped work them and you might remember big bull dunbar got loose <laughs> he came out of the squeeze shoot that was not a good thing but it worked out and then a few months later <laughs> we got a call one early one morning and all the bison were out so we had to hook it two miles down the road and go get them and get them back up here but uh, since then Dusty has acquired a few more bison and one of them here is uh, he goes by the name Big Joe and I don't know what he weighs exactly we're gonna find out in just a little bit but this big bull has never been through a squeeze chute he is pretty gentle pretty calm but I'm six foot three almost and he is almost the same height as me at the top of his shoulders. This guy's big. So it may be an interesting morning. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully everything works out smooth and calm. But I know I know this. I'm gonna make sure he's not here. When I'm working with Dusty, never thing, nothing ever goes as planned. Nothing ever goes calm and smooth. Something always goes wrong. Something breaks, something happens. So we're gonna capture it on video. It may be an interesting morning, but so I'm just letting them get all the bison all pinned up and I, you know, they don't, they're not used to extra people being over there. So they want to feed them, get them up in the lot, and then we can start running them into the corral system and work them. So this, Dusty's got a pretty cool little YouTube channel about these bison. You can go check it out YouTube and Facebook at Cross Timbers Bison. I'll leave a link in the description box. I'm sure he'll do a video on this, but his channel has exploded on YouTube. I mean, he just had a video the other day, he had a million views, so it's doing really, really well. And uh, a different animal, different, you just don't see these on YouTube much. So come along, check it out, and we're gonna work some bison this morning. Hey, Dusty. Yeah. How come your buffalo's got orange paint all over his horns? <laughs> Maybe the color of our game. So here's kind of the game plan. We got most of them all lotted up here. There's a couple we hadn't caught yet, but we'll get them up. And then they'll come in to this holding pen, go down towards, there's a gate right there. That gate will swing shut and they'll go up in this alleyway system into a tub. I'll show you. Hold on, Dustin. Didn't know you were bringing her up, I'm sorry. Guess I'll just show you instead of walking you through it. Oops. So now we got her in the tub. Turn around. Let's go. Let's 
No stress. Why are you breathing so hard? I don't know, because it's just like, ah! Oh. That was just Eleanor. That's I know the easy what one. It was. <laughs> but it's still stressful. It's like an adrenaline breath. Anyway, so well, then we get them into the front part of the chute. And when I mean the front of the alleyway system, and then we'll load them up in the chute. The last step here is uh, you get a weight on them. So she weighs 660 pounds. Great place for a zip tie. Six Did the calf go in? One, maybe two. That's good. That's good. Paul Paul's in there. Make 
Jeff in there with her? No, oh, okay. Sorry. I, so there's two. Here, Kevin. Here. Dang, that wasn't recording. Seriously? I thought I had done more getting out on video. Hey, Come here. Come on. Yeah. Ready, 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 ready. No, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. All right there, Melissa. You better not let Dunbar come out with that paddle over his head. I know. That ought to be enough to keep him down, right? Yeah, enough, <laughs> for sure. Maybe not so much. It wouldn't be Dusty Baker without some some, sort of some drama. <laughs> oh my gosh, at least he went forward and didn't go to greener pastures out through the barn. Yeah. Dunbar, everybody's favorite, right? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's a gentle giant, they say. He's only escaped twice today. Head shoots are not for him. First time for Big Joe. <laughs> we shall see how it goes, Big Joe and the ladies. Hopefully he's a little uh, easier than Dunbar. Hopefully he is. Dunbar is just a pain in the butt. He's calm whenever he's just normal, but when we work him, he just likes to escape. Well, he does like to escape. We remember that, don't we? Oh yeah, trust me. That's we what the, remember that. That. <laughs> that orange is on the back. Here's the reason.
don't think he's being crazy like Dunbar was. Come on, buddy. I know how you eat like that. Go backwards. Okay. Well, I just made it back home and uh, I'll say this, nobody got hurt today. Most of the bison got worked, got vaccinated, got wormed, all that stuff. Um, Big Joe, <laughs> good luck, Dusty. <laughs> well, we don't know how much he weighs. We didn't get him on the scale. We never could get him in the chute, but it sounds like Big Joe has never been confined like that from the, the owners that Dusty got Big Joe from never never worked them never run them through a shoot or anything so he pretty much just walked up there and said no and we tried and tried and tried and tried to get him to go in the chute we didn't have a hot shot or cattle prod so I mean if you had one of those you probably could have got him to move but Dusty that's it's his his animals and he didn't have one so that's okay but he's gonna figure out a way to work Big Joe but uh, Dunbar the big bull who is typically the most calm bison you would ever see he just doesn't like to be confined so you get him confined he gets a little wound up but luckily uh we got him worked you saw he ripped the whole crash gate off of the front of his off of the front of dusty's chute but anyways back home i am tired and i've got uh mm, a little bit of work to do around here and i'll show you what we got in just a minute but We'll probably uh, put that off for a few hours. We're wound down to like the last couple days of deer uh, rifle season. And I think I'm going to go hunting this evening until dark. Sit, sit in the blind and relax for a few hours because I'm tired. It's stressful working those big animals. Uh, there's just no doubt about it. It's such a huge, powerful animal. And uh, the tension's high. The stress is high. Even though... You know, most of the time they're pretty calm and, and relaxed. You just never know with an animal that big and that much power. I mean, Big Joe's head, I, there's just no telling what his head alone weighs. And it's just massive. That's a huge animal. But uh, anyways, go check out Dusty if you're not familiar with his channel, Cross Timbers Bison on YouTube and Facebook. Um, yeah, he went down to Texas a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And shot a video down there at another ranch and helped those guys work all their bison and that video got a million views in like a month so i'm super excited for him and marissa and their youtube channel with the bison stuff 
Not that they're not for me. I like my little goats and donkey poodles and, you know, smaller animals. Just the, the bison thing's not for me. But anyways, let me show you what I got in the truck. Yeah, so this is what I came home to in the driveway. <laughs> We've got uh, several hundred more shirts to make, so... That's probably what our evening's gonna consist of after supper. Uh, we've been out here many, many nights now until midnight processing orders, making making the shirts and stuff. And I, I'm just so thankful I'm blessed to be able to do this and that you guys support us and all that stuff. It's just, it's so awesome. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. I'm gonna wrap it up, go get me a bite to eat and uh, head to the deer woods. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out Dusty's video on all of this stuff. I don't know what Dusty's going to have to say about it, but he's got a little bit more work to do. So thanks for watching. And uh, as always, we'll see you on the next video.